Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we look at the Player Kits 2 plugin. This is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to really easily create kits using a GUI and there's a ton of customization such as cooldowns, permissions and other stuff like that. So first of all, if you do four slash kit, that's going to bring up the main GUI which shows you the kits that you can get. And as you can see, it shows you what is in the kit, the cooldown, and you can even right click to preview it and then left click to use it like that. And then we can go ahead and do that for the other ones as well. You can see they're slightly different. This one here that hasn't got a name or law, I just created a couple of minutes ago. And then there is also a premium kit. Now this one actually costs $5,000. And as you can see, I don't have the balance, so it's not going to allow me to do that. But if I go ahead and give myself some money and then go back into kits, into premium kits, we can go ahead and buy that. So that is how it works. What we're going to do now is create our own kit. So let's go ahead and just grab some items. And what we're going to do is for slash kit create and it's going to be kit tools. Now if you do for slash kit you can see it's up here it looks pretty ugly and now what we can do is for slash kit edit and tools. Now this GUI allows you to edit a ton of stuff so top left we can set the slot. Obviously we don't want it up here kind of on its own we can go ahead and maybe put it over here. As you can see it's in slot 18. We can set the cooldown in seconds so maybe 200 seconds. Does it need a permission, yes or no? So we can set that to playerkits.kit.tools. And then one time only. Do you want players to be able to get it once or multiple times after 200 seconds? And then auto armor, if it does have armor, do you want it to be equipped, yes or no? And then over here, we've got the kit items. So if you want to add more stuff, then we can set additional requirements such as a price, maybe $1,000. Now down at the bottom, we've got a few different things. We've got the display item. So for here, you can just replace this middle item and then hit save. The no permissions display item, you can set that to something else, but that looks pretty cool as is. So now that we've edited all that, we can do four slash kit and it is over here. It doesn't currently have a name, but it's going to give us all the items that we want. Now, if you do four slash kit help, it's going to show you all the commands. So you can do four slash kit claim and then tools. And that is a way to do it without the GUI. And then you can do four slash kit reload if you've changed anything in the config file. And that's where we're going now to edit the kit. So here we are on the SMP control panel and as you can see there's a few YML files and then the kits folder and the players folder. If we go into the config first of all there's a few things in here we can change. So you want to be able to preview kits yes or no. Do they require permissions to preview them first join kit yes or no. And then a few things such as the default values for when you create a new kit such as the cooldown permission required and a couple of items and sounds, all the stuff we saw before we started changing things. And then down at the bottom, you can set a MySQL database if you want. But apart from that, there's not much in there you really want to edit. So you don't really need to touch the inventory or messages.yml. The main thing is going to the kits. And then each kit you create is a separate YML file. We can go into tools, the one we just created. And then up here, you can see that it has pretty much all the same stuff that we saw in the GUI, which you can obviously edit. And then if we scroll down a little bit, we can see the items. So then what I'd recommend is changing the display. And what we can do here is simply copy and paste the name and paste that in there. And then we're going to grab the law as well, paste that down below. And then we can just edit this a little bit. And there we go. So I've got the name and the law here. We can save this. And then in game, we can do four slash kit reload and do four slash kit. And there we go. You can see we have changed the name. It looks very nice now. And here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.20. There is a ton of great information here you can see. And then there is even a wiki you can go on if you want to find out more information and specific things in here. There is a ton of documentation. It's very, very helpful. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.